Today on the show, we have Hamza the Fantastic, TikToker, YouTuber, streamer, and overall funny guy. What can't this guy do? We talk about both his past and present ventures, the music he loves, and other incredibly controversial topics. That and more on this episode of Cool Dog. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. Welcome to the Cool Dog pod. Welcome, Hamza, to the doghouse. Give us a woof. Thank you. I'm so... <laughs> That's that's beautiful. That's one of the best ones we've had. Although, only Kalen Kalen Corey has been the other guest to really bark. Nobody else has really done it. Um, yeah, he was like a chihuahua. It was like a, I don't even know what it was. It was quite frankly one of the scariest things I've ever heard in my life. Um, but uh, welcome. It's I'm, I'm very happy to have you on. You are somebody that I'm I, I've always been very fascinated by uh, because the first time I saw you. You were doing one of those freak show live streams, and um, it was when Weston and Kalen were on. And I, they told me about you guys, and I thought, you know, those freak show people, they're probably some small streamers, some cute small streamers doing a little cute small Twitch stream. And I show up, and you guys had like 50k, 40k, 50k, something like that, um, which caught me off guard. But to those who may not know who you are, Hamza, who are you? Oh, wow. Well, we're getting right to the bread and butter. I think that's what they call it. Yeah. Um, I am... I'm a lover. I mean, where do I start? Mm. Um, well, like you said, that was my origins as I was a little part of a little band. Mm -hmm. And we just did some goofs and gaffs. I think we... I think, you know, I've claimed this once. I'll claim it again. I think we started the Dream SMP. Mm. That's a so, big claim. I don't know. Yeah, so a, I like to say that. Is that a police so, officer in the background? Some sort of. <laughs> you can hear that. <laughs> um, that's Carl. Carl Jacobs coming after me. For, oh wow! Yeah. For claiming that. That's. Um, yeah, I'm actually kidding about that. So, mm -hmm. don't. So no one take that. Um, maybe. Um, but yeah, it was a lot of fun. <laughs> I'm just. Uh, I'm just an internet guy. I just like to. I'm just like Axel. You know, we just. We just say adrift in limbo out here, and we throw some stuff into the void, see what sticks. That's but true. Yeah, I got some plans. Yeah, you know, I got I got a little baseline, some I retreat to. But other than that, I'm just a <laughs> I'm just a lost soul looking for a girlfriend. I'm looking for you know something. I don't know. Is that why you're here? Is that you're here to find the love of your life? Ah! I was expecting to be there, be like. You know, like balloons or something. Whenever I like see the love of my life, there's no balloons. We don't have the budget for that. This is uh, I'm I've uh, I've put myself into debt making this show, so there's no way that I can actually afford any sort of budget for any episode. Yeah, but, uh, yeah me too. I'm, I'm so, in the scene as well. Did you? Are you like a? Did you start as a TikToker, or were you like one of those uh, musically people that moved over to TikTok? Oh. Oh no! Don't get it twisted. I I mean nothing wrong with that, but no man. I grew up on uh, I didn't grow up on TikTok, but uh, I used to just pump them out. It started with like a little jokester thing. I got to like 30k back in town, mm -hmm. and then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna just post every day and do what I can. And then I I got I ended up up here at Canuck, and then I had no friends for a year. Still don't, but. Mm -hmm. for this time we're talking about mm -hmm. so what do you do when you have no friends and you make some tiktoks i mean that's really yeah and then yeah. i met some cool people online met you i mean thank you it's very sweet yeah thank, I, yeah thank you i uh yeah i mean i i i just i i feel like us first meeting was like kind of like two universes coming together because you know, I, I normally speaking, you know, I it for for the first few years of my life, I very much stayed in my own lane. I only really hung out with people on like my side of YouTube when I was a YouTuber still. Um, and then I started doing Twitch and stuff. And then uh, I met Weston Corey. And I think that's where it really I, the bridge kind of was built between me and uh, the TikTok world. Because uh, I think, yeah, that's how we that's how we first uh, met was you guys were playing Among Us. And then, oh, you know what? The the first time I think you guys uh, saw me, might have seen me, was we were doing a, it was a core four live stream, and I was saying how I was talking about how I could fight all the freak show members, 
and how I could take all of you probably, except for um, Chase Rutherford. I don't, I don't think I could have taken him. I. Oh yeah, that was the first time. I, it was a clip. I saw a clip of that on TikTok. Yeah, I was. I was saying something like how Chase Rutherford, like he probably has like inhuman strength, and uh, you would have to shoot him with like a. a what is that thing they shoot the elephants with? The uh, tra tranquilizer. Yeah, you would have to shoot him with like a tranquilizer. <laughs> 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 um, yeah, if you can, if but, you could land it, it probably goes straight through him. To be honest, but if you can land it, that, that'll yeah. probably uh, that'll work. Yeah. I don't think I. Yeah, I think it was just your ominous voice over the video. I don't think it was your face, but yeah. Oh yeah, true. it was. It was. Yeah. It was a. Uh, it was. It was. It was much like that. What the audio listeners are, listeners are experiencing right now. Uh, yeah. No face. Very faceless. No face. So I mean, yeah. You, shout out, yeah. You were caught in hot water recently. Uh, I saw it. I saw it on TikTok. Big trouble. Uh, you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about, but there's you, something. Um, oh, look. This is Canada calling me right now. Oh, my God. Is that one of I'm those not even kidding. spam callers? No, it's actually Canada because since I came here from out of the country, they want me to, like, quarantine or whatever. Uh, are you quarantining? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah just go ahead with what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you said that the new Tyler album was not going to be good, and then it turned out to be good. <laughs> I don't even... Okay, anybody who knows me knows I know nothing about music. I'm new to music. I I didn't listen to, like, I actually didn't listen to a song until I was, like, a junior in high school. What is that, like, 11th Is that for real? Or something. Like, I didn't, unironically, you know, I never, I couldn't, I didn't have a situation to listen to music. I still don't know when to listen to music. I mean... I never listen to it at home. Mm -hmm. I listen at the gym and in the car. If I didn't drive and I didn't go to the gym, I would never listen to music. Um, so what do you do when you're I, just like sitting there? I need home? to. I, I play something. You know, I open a video or a podcast. Or, but I mm. never like. I can't multitask, and I got like t DJ drama on that dude's album yelling <laughs> at me. I can't like. You can't. I don't get that. But yeah, so that take came from an uninformed perspective, but it also wasn't even a take. If you watched it, I just rambled and that was just a snippet. Mm. But, uh, <laughs> and that came from a Tyler fan. I'm a fan of his. That's the thing. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't think I worded it specifically well. I said I, I didn't think it would be good because of the rollout was too much. Right. Um, and then after that, they didn't get it, but I said the songs that I've listened to so far, which is the ones were, that were already out. Mm -hmm. um, I said, sounded like uh, you just hit like, like pumped it out of a Tyler Creator song generator or something. Mm. But you know, I now it's good. I still it takes me a while to get through an album. I got like four of them that I like, and then I just replay them until I'm tired right, of them. What and I Go to the like, next four. So you 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 you're you're new to music. Have you gotten into any albums? Which albums do albums. you like? Ooh, that's the thing. Since I'm new, I'm like, uh, I'm like, not following any rules. So like, first album like I knew uh, was like Flower Boy, but I mm. forced myself to listen to it because my friends were listening to it, and I'm glad I did. Um, and then I don't know, Casey Musgraves got in there somehow. Yeah. And then I'm over here with like Lana Del Rey, and then I'm over here with. Uh, let me get this right. It's not a long timeline. There's gaps in it, but all I know now is I love, I've I am in love with Zarface. I don't know if he does oh, not yeah. been back. So goddamn good. Oh yeah. Holy cow, Raymond MF Doom. Mm -hmm. There's two albums. I just found a song, uh, Phantom, on the first one. Mm -hmm. So good. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Yeah. And like I said, I'm I only like... listening if I'm in the car in the gym. So this kind of music, that kind of music is the Mm. Mm. You know, mm. that kind of stuff. So you don't have like a you don't have like a uh, emotional connection to music. Like you don't like when you're sad, you don't listen to sad music. Nah. I see. I see. I used to I use the Casey Musgraves one used to hit a hit something in me, happy and sad on Golden uh -huh. Hour. Still does. I do shed a tear every time. But uh that's only because it's tied to me and my boys blasting in the car. I mean uh, nothing really That's you know. beautiful. Yeah. By the way, that promiscuous song. Uh -huh. By the way, 
why am I doing a little Larry David action right now? But uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> that was a uh, very core to my heart. Mm-hmm. And ironically, man, that was like, I remember the last day I was in the States and I had to leave. We blasted that song in the car. We drove around and we went to plays. It was fun. Mm-hmm. And, and, and I genuinely couldn't listen to it without like getting pretty emotional after that. And then like, we're talking about on a Zoom call, me and this freak show group, mm-hmm. and um, Chase was just like, "Hey, let's do a, like a little thirst trap action on this song," and he posts it, and I'm like, "Okay, whatever, man." And uh, he just tells me what I need to lip sync, so I lip sync like this three second clip from it. I've never, I don't lip sync. I hate lip syncing. I don't. Mm-hmm. I'm not. I'm not. Uh, you know, I'm cool. I don't do that. Yeah. Um, I just send him it, and then. Here we are today. I'm America's biggest heartthrob. Here you are on Cool Dog. That's where it all led up to, being on this show, (laughs) on this broadcast with us today. So It was all worth it. You live in Canada, but you're not Canadian. Is that true? Yeah, that is true. I have a very interesting past, but, uh, you know, a lot of it I keep under wraps. I see. But, you you know, there's a... There's a mug shot in there somewhere, so Damn, it's got a little bit of, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh I think I've hyped it up too much. It's really not that interesting, but originally mm-hmm. I am from the Middle East, Yemen specifically, you know, the one that's getting slam dunked left and right. Mm-hmm. Um and then I moved to the US when I was eight months old. I lived here since or there. <laughs> Excuse me. Um till I was seventeen. And then bada boom bada bang. I'm up here. Nice. Uh, that's yeah, man. that's very cool. But your 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 Canadian you living in Canada created a a a, a Canadian connection. You could say with uh, rapper artist Freddie Dread, where you guys uh, <laughs> collaborated. Yeah, you two have y'all got something going on too. Right? Yeah, um, we 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 look alike, and uh, it's created this lovely bond between me and me and Freddie. Very nice guy. <laughs> What a sweetheart! Yeah, I never, I never know what's going on with you two, but it <laughs> seems you are, you're always in the same place at the same time. <laughs> I, I, I'll say this about Freddie. I, uh, a couple of days ago, I felt really bad, uh, because Freddie, like, uh, somebody, like, um, somebody tweeted something at Freddie, and he was like, "What am I? Like, what do I look like? A gamer? Like, I don't, I don't look like actually." And he, I was like, <laughs> I was like, I, 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 I don't think that's what the tweet was, but I can't remember what it specifically was. And I replied to it with something like, uh. I was like, oh, hey, yo, man, that's friendly fire. And then he DM'd me and he was like, hey, man, I didn't mean for that tweet to be like an insult. I'm sorry. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, oh, dude, I didn't, I didn't think, I didn't take it like that. So I felt really bad. I think, I think I saw that tweet. No, Freddie, I'm not kidding, is one of the nicest people I've ever met oh, in my yeah. life. I'm not joking, man. This man is so, I don't know how to describe it, man. He just, he's a, he's a true Canuck. He's got like, I was in his house or his apartment for a while. Mm-hmm. And uh, I mean, he just wake me up with like Uber Eats on his phone and be like, yo, just like <laughs> get what you want, my man. And he do that like five times a day. Like I was fat as <laughs> hell at the end of it, but it was worth it. No, he treated me so nice. And even now, dude, I think he's gifted like 600 subs to like my goddamn channel. I mean, he's he used to gift. He's the reason, you know, he's the reason Freak Show started. We didn't really? have a computer and he loaned us money really? to get a PC to stream it. And, uh, yeah, I paid him back, but forever wow. in his debt. That's, that's a, so, that's a very interesting fact. Wow. I didn't know that. I thought, I yeah, thought the Freddie Dread connection might've happened afterwards. I didn't realize that Freddie was there from the, from the No, it was like ground this up. weird random Zoom call and, uh. It's always the Zoom calls with a, you, man. <laughs> yeah <laughs> and uh like a friend of a friend type thing and he, he got on there and he was like he was sauced i'm pretty sure but he was we were uh, we had a good time and then and, he was uh, like have have a loan have a small loan of a million dollars no that was a lot after that, i mean that was we were pretty yeah but it was yeah man i had to yeah, i asked him from he's a real one man mm-hmm. there's very few real people and he'll he'll like when I was there, you know, we mixed and matched that one song, you know, the Piss Me Off song. What a banger. Mm-hmm. Absolute yeah. tune. It's, in, it's on my playlist, so ironically, I listen to it. It's uh, <laughs> it's very enjoyable. Oh, wow. Okay. Here, <laughs> yeah, I got a little 
It's my well, there's no T, but oh, you know, nice. you get the point. Six feet. Uh, and that was all a favor. I mean, he didn't have to do any of that. Yeah, he a, flew me out. Really? He flew me out. I don't even pay no. Wow. That that I is my f- very sweet of him. And I like missed my flight on our way back and I was stuck at the airport and he like sends me money for like food and it's like he's yeah. above and beyond. Yes. That's, I'm telling you, if you want to make friends with anyone, he's the guy. Yeah, he's been very nice to me as well. He's been um he's he's very he's always a guy that hits you back. Always always messages back. Uh and he, he has also gifted me a lot of subs, and I'm always like, what the hell? Very sweet boy. Uh, and, uh, yeah, he's someone that I, I, I kind of want to, especially post-quarantine, I would love to I would love to get to know more, maybe uh, maybe at some point hang out somewhere if we end up being in the same location. Um, That'd be nuts. That would be nuts. Are you, How tall are you? I'm six foot one. Yeah, he's like 5'2", so that would be <laughs> pretty insane. <laughs> that would be a pretty 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 beautiful picture. Um, we look yeah. similar, but height wise, uh, I'm, I look like fucking slender man, man. I'm very skinny and, and very <laughs> tall. I'm very lanky. Um, yeah, he's very, he's sleek as well. He's just, uh, <laughs> yeah. um, so is how long you, do you have any plans to leave Canada or? Yeah, man, I'm, I'm with like you. I'm pretty sure you're just like hunting for that visa, or I'm yeah. pretty sure you already got it. I no, I don't have it. Has a... <laughs> yeah, I don't have it. I yeah. my my plan is to kind of go out there, test the waters in certain locations, see what I'm feeling, because it's also like you know visa pretty expensive. Um, so oh, really? yeah, oh yeah, you got to get lawyers and stuff, and uh, it's like. Uh, my my friends who've gone through the pro well here's your two options or mo- there's multiple options right some people uh, to get a visa they get with an organization they sign a deal with an organization and in that organization and the deal includes that they will organize a visa for them they will pay for the legal fees and uh, my friends who've gone through the process by themselves with no organization and they've had to cover the legal fees the lawyer fees they can be like ten thousand dollars man it's crazy it is God uh, damn. Yeah, it's it's not a Ooh. it's not a cheap thrill at all. So it's one of those things where I want to like be like because you know with an ESTA and shit you can be there for like three months uh, at a time. So I I kind of I kind of just want to do that. I want to go chill, hang out for a couple months, and see how I feel. Because it's like I don't want to you know I've been in the U.S. M- multiple times before, but I don't want to go there and be like, you know, before I go there I get a visa and then I'm like, ah, oh, dude, this isn't actually the vibe. I kind of want to go back home or whatever. Um, so you know, I just I just want to be sure of everything really. Um, yeah, but what are your what you are your plans? Don't. How how did you get them the last times? The uh, visa? I no, I I never had a visa. I just got a I I got an ESTA, which is a thing where you can just like uh, you have if you have um, it, it's like a it's like a tourist thing where basically you can go for three months at a time. I think it's six months out of a year you can stay. Uh, it's just that you're not a, you're not allowed to work technically, but it's like you know, <laughs> um, I I work twenty four seven, man. I'm a you know, you know what they say? It's a. Uh, uh, I'm not a businessman. I'm a business man. You know. Yeah. So um, I never heard of that. Yeah, Jay Z said that. I didn't. I didn't come up with that. Um, uh, but all right, they kind of. Um, <laughs> it's 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 yeah. It's you. you it's like a. I've I've just gone on Esta every time. Esta is a thing that you sign up for it once, and then it lasts for like I think two years. Um, oh snap! Yeah. And then you can, is that relatively easy to get, or is it? Yeah, it's 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 easy to get. You have to pay like twenty dollars, and then you have to answer a bunch of questions. Where it's like, uh, are you coming to the U.S. to like blow up a bomb? And if you say yes, then they'll deny you. But if you say no, mm-hmm. then you know it's like obviously you're not that. I'm guessing Corona stopped that. Yeah, yeah, Corona. I, I believe even right now, I couldn't go if I wanted to. I think right now it's only yeah. like essential tra- essential travel for like business and stuff, um, which is. Uh, I mean, you know, I feel like me and you have this in common where um, we are uh, part of uh, we our friends are American and we are not in America and we're locked away from our friends. And we just kind of we're on the outside looking in uh, as our as our friends are all in America. Uh, How how does that how do you feel about that? You ever feel uh, does it ever make you feel a little bit down or you're you're a bit farther away, though? Oh, yeah. So I mean, there are higher stakes. Yeah, <laughs> that's what's annoying about me is that if I was actually Canadian, 
Mm -hmm. I could, I don't need anything. You know, if you're Canadian, you can just go there as long as you want. You can mm -hmm. just drive. You can just fly there. Nothing. There's like some weird treaty thing. Yeah. Um, and on top of that, I am basically American. I've been there my entire life. Yeah. So, um, yeah, man, pisses me off. I want to see my friends in the summer. I want to just anything. It is annoying. I did have uh, my older sister's down there though, and she had a she got married recently, and she had a wanted to do a wedding. Mm -hmm. But we were like, okay, well your whole family is up here, so how do we do this? Mm -hmm. So we found this park in British Columbia, which is literally on the border, um, <laughs> and we just <laughs> threw the wedding on the border. Wow! We were, like surrounded by border patrol, and we're just like <laughs> making sure we don't move. And we're just like, hey, nice. That well, at least it, it worked out. That's it's also a very unique yeah. kind of wedding, kind of beautiful, you know, if you think about it kind of a tale of like uh, people coming together on the border surrounded yeah. by yeah, yeah. lines drawn by humans wow it is it is um very poetic i think very beautiful uh but yeah you you went so you went to turkey what the hell is that all about what are you doing in turkey yeah more family man uh oh man you're friendly my wide. grandma <laughs> yeah my <laughs> That's what happens when you're where I'm from. You don't stay there long. I mean, as of recently, that's why they're in Turkey. I mean, I got people mm. in from Sudan to Malaysia, man. They're like, uh, what is it? Then like Dragon Ball Z, those like seven <laughs> little star things. They just, <laughs> woo! But, uh, <laughs> yeah, but there's a couple of them in uh, Turkey. So apparently my grandma's leg was getting amputated or something. So they're just like. Yo, go check her out. If she gets, you know, if she goes to sleep forever, you won't, you've mm. never met her. So, yeah, you'd probably be good. So, I did score a visa there, though. So, oh. that was possible. Yeah. And that was, I had to go to the Turkish embassy and, like, get interrogated by some young Turks. And they were all, like, Hassan. Like, they were, it was scary. But, yeah. Yeah, I just went there, checked it out. It's a pretty cool place. Did you, uh, what'd you do there? Did you do anything fun? I saw some TikToks you made. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was, uh, I was pretty jam-packed. My extended family wanted me to do a whole bunch of stuff, see a bunch of people, hang out with a lot of people. But when I got the chance, I would just interact with random people. That's what I do anytime I have free time these days. It's really fun. I don't know if you've, I, I tune in your streams. I don't think you do that, do you? Just like, uh. Go up to random people. I don't, like I don't. I don't. I don't go outside do. at the moment. No, I don't really. Uh, I don't see the thing is it doesn't work as well in Estonia because Estonians they're very introverted. So it's like you go up to them, especially with a camera or sh some shit. They'll just like they'll literally like try to run away. Like they're not interested. Um, it's it's that, very much like that Northern European shit, man. They. Yeah, I did it. notice that with you guys. I noticed that I was in Amsterdam for my layover mm. and. I picked up on that, but um, that kind of makes it better when they don't want to be in it, low key, <laughs> or like, like you just, yeah, I don't know. I just like people making people uncomfortable. Yeah, um, I. So would would you consider yourself an extrovert? Absolutely not. I don't know. I'm like an introvert with like a grudge against everyone else or something. <laughs> like I just, I just, I don't know. I still don't know. I. I never hung out with anyone. I played like Overwatch for the first two years of high school and like Minecraft for that. Mm -hmm. I didn't, um, I mean, that just <laughs> says everything you need to know. I didn't, uh, I had no friends. And like, it's not because I was trying. I just like, <laughs> like with a lot of this stuff with like music too. Like, I'm just like, I figure out about it. Like senior year, I was like, yeah, I got parties. You guys are throwing <laughs> parties. <laughs> like, um, so most of the stuff I'm just not looking for it. Yeah. Um but yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I am. Yeah, I I would say I I used to be I I I I've kind of been all over the place during my life. I was I think I grew up an introvert and then the older I became the more I was like I need to I need to put myself out there more. I need to talk to people more cuz it's like I, that that's the thing is like when you're an introvert it can seem a lot more scary but then when you actually start to talk into like random people and like like really like getting to know new people you realize oh my god it's actually really fun uh and there's when like, did that hit you it I, I feel like it really started to hit me during like 2018 um because i had this um 
I had this like job I did uh, for my cousin. It was like backstage at a festival with a bunch of artists and stuff. And I kind of realized in that environment that like if I don't push myself to talk to people, then nobody's even going to notice I'm there. You know, like I kind of wanted to like at least like kind of have some sort of experiences with people um, and that it I kind of, you know, and then uh, that was kind of the year that my YouTube started taking off. And then uh, that's when I started traveling. And then when I went to America, I found it to be a lot more easy to just fucking talk because when I'm in America, I don't give a shit, man. I don't give a shit what Americans think about me. I just I don't care. Yeah, when you're when you're not like home or whatever. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's like it's like uh, that's I think that's what like was going through Logan Paul's head when he's like in Japan. Oh and, like, yeah. Oh, it's all about the respect. It's just like he's not he's not gonna be back there. It doesn't really matter. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. You know what the crazy thing about yeah. that Logan Paul Japan vlog was? I remember, I think I was subscribed to him at the time. I wasn't like a <laughs> big fan, but I remember. I saw him upload the vlog and um, that particular forest is something that I was always like kind of morbidly curious about. I, I've done a lot of research in it uh, about it for years. Mm -hmm. So when I saw that, like he made a video about it, I was like, huh, that's interesting. So I clicked on it and I watched it. And because the I think the weird thing is the vlog was up for like two or four, two to three hours before any sort of outrage happened. Um, because truth be told, his audience just didn't give a shit. Because for like, I feel like I saw it. Yeah, three hours, three until like three hours after it came out, the ever like the like to dislike ratio was completely positive. All the comments were like, "Oh, this is a really interesting video," but they saw that you know this they saw and I I, I watched it. I remember I was like, "What?" Like, uh, I uh, and I was I was like, I I felt really weird by what I was seeing, but also I was like, "What?" Like nobody cares. Like, am I going crazy? Like that's kind of a crazy thing to do, right? Like that's just like a not a good thing to do but then nobody was and then and then like a couple hours later it, it blew up um to like one i of feel like he could have spun that he could have like kept some parts out of that that like oh yeah i mean like he could have been like yo we just saw a dead body you know he could have been just as flamboyant just yep. you know don't show like the i remember it was like a, the blue hand it was like oh yeah like about a burst and i was he, like he definitely Ugh. did not need to show the person that was very just like and then it was like or maybe like really far away or like if you like got this like like see i think that's it but like he got like he got vlogging distance <laughs> yeah he was like he was like yeah. right next to it fucking taking selfies and shit laughing like it was just like it was the most like bizarre. it literally felt like it was like out of like a comedy movie making fun of american tourists or something but it was it was real yeah. it was very real <laughs> Uh, which was which was yeah crazy. that was the icing on it. I was the icing on the cake. Is that is that you're not he's not as in his country. He's like he's all of this and he's bothering other people. Yeah, it's kind of beautiful. And I think it was like needed. I mean, the man now he's like he's walking around in like a tuxedo, like metaphorically. I mean, <laughs> Logan's Logan's like I mean, compared to what he was. Oh yeah, I feel like he's got his something something happened up there. I, I so. definitely think it was a it, it kind of it definitely brought him down to earth a little bit more. I don't know if it did enough. I think he's still a little bit um still a little bit all over the place. But uh overall, yeah, I, I think it was a good experience for him in a way. Uh did it need did should he have needed that specifically? I don't think so. I think he, there should have been something, you know <laughs> something a little bit I, less like crazy. Um Yeah, something was coming. But uh yeah, I would you ever? Did you ever? Uh, did you ever listen to the diss tracks when they were all like making diss tracks, like the Rice Gum diss track to like Logan Paul and like uh, or like Jake Paul? I remember and, so clearly the day I went to school and I was like, guys, there's this guy named Rice Gum. Okay, let me tell you about this. Mm -hmm. And he had like a hundred k. Like I was at day one, um, and I, I might have showed him like that Weston Corey video. Right? <laughs> That's how early I was. I was like. <laughs> This is this is some good stuff. Um, but yeah, I was definitely up to date. Not super duper. Um, mm -hmm. I would say like a seven out of ten. I was there. I mean, yeah. you couldn't miss it. Oh yeah, you definitely couldn't miss it. It was everywhere. I I remember I was just like it, looking back at it. It was just so much fun because it was like a new new diss track dropping every week, and they were all bangers. Kind of like I, it's every day, bro. I, I mean, it's a meme, but it's it's fucking it goes hard. I'm not gonna lie, man. I like it. And it's diss diss tracks are so much fun to make because you can have as much creative freedom. And oh, if yeah. it's like horrible 
then you could just say it's a diss track. But if it like bangs, you're just like, yeah, I meant to do that. Like, I know exactly. how to make music. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like, it, it's just, I don't know. It's it's very, <sighs> I kind of miss it. I don't know, man. Nowadays, people, even if people like, I got to say your diss track is probably the first diss track since then that I've actually enjoyed. Oh, wow. Thank you. Well, good news is Kaylin Corey's been getting on my nerves, so... <laughs> I would I mean, love I would love to see you go uh, go after Kaylin Corey. Um the, I w- <laughs> the stands will eat you alive. The stands are gonna literally um the stands are very protective. I'll tear up I, I will You you were trying to pick yeah. a pick a fight with some stands on Twitter a while ago. Some dream stands. <laughs> I'm one of them. <laughs> um Yeah, I actually retweeted a little Carl Jacobs thing today. I Who's saw that. Cute? Oh. How he drinks water yeah. with a uh, with two hands, two hands like this, very this. cute, very yeah, like very adorable. Listen, okay, on a real note, I have no issue with any of this stuff. Even that that thing I just did with the Carl Jacobs thing, I have no problem with that. Mm-hmm. As long as you realize what's going on, I mean, like he's twenty two. He, he used to watch Ice Poseidon, man. He doesn't drink like that when the camera's off, bro. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. You know, there's there's some going on, but if you know, that's fine. Or like, I don't know. I was also new to Twitter. I still am. I just found out what like a PQRT is like pretty recently. So, um, so I was just like, is this stuff really real? Like, and then I busted that tweet out, and I got a bunch of like uh, K-pop profile pictures, and I was like, oh my god, this is real. This happens for real. Oh yeah, it was it was fun. It was fun. I'm not even gonna lie. It's so fun. Like if for someone who has no attachment to Twitter or like anything, getting in there and stirring it up a little bit. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's it's uh, it's it's the first time I got a bunch of private core tweets. Not gonna lie, gave me a little bit of made me a little bit anxious because I was like, what could they be saying? And then I realized, if I saw these people like face to face, because they're all like 13 year old little girls, <laughs> like, would I care about so what they like- what they think about me? No. I don't. I don't care about what like little little girls think about me. Um, so at that point, it really does become like a little bit of a game where it's just like, you know, try- it's like, is this really happening? Especially when you didn't do anything wrong. It's like, oh my god, this is like, oh wow, okay, oh yeah, <laughs> like, this is for real, dude. One time, and I didn't know what that was. I didn't know what PQRTs were. So I had like a thousand retweets and i get on, I click it and it's got like five, and I was like, <laughs> that is weird. <laughs> no, but yeah. Yeah, it's all they yeah, always do it on private too. Like I, I don't, I don't understand that phenomenon. Like, why don't you just put it out there, man? Like, let's talk. Let's have a, let's have a dialogue. I one time I was on Twitter, I was tweeting at West and Corey. I was like, um, I said I, I was like, I was, I was making up this like fake story about how like Saikuno was at a party with Valkyrie, and then Valkyrie passes Saikuno the joint, and then Saikuno like accidentally smokes a little bit too much weed, and then he just gets like really scared. And he's like, he's like, like, oh God, oh Jesus, oh God. And I was like <laughs> writing up this entire like fan fiction kind of on Twitter. And then somehow it reached Saikuno's fans. And they were like so like pissed off. And I was like, bro, Saikuno's 27 years old. I'm not even joking. He's 27 years old. You motherfuckers are treating him like he's a child. Like <laughs> all I said was he, I just, I made up a fake scenario, which by the way, okay, how are you going to judge me for making a fake story about how Saikuno smoked a little bit too much weed when these motherfuckers are probably like writing about his fucking throbbing penis. Like, it's just like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it doesn't make any sense, dude. Like it's, 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 it's so stupid. Nobody has any self-awareness. They just love to jump on your case. And they were all like, uh, um, the locals are acting up again, which is like, what the hell even is a local anymore, man? Yeah. What does that even mean? No, it's like another language. And it, yeah, Saikuno, I like, tune into one of his streams recently and it's like i it's like a trip i don't know what's going on but like he was playing gta and i'm just like ooh, like the chat just all of it it's something to take in mm. um but yeah th- your tweet sounds just like mine i just i just copied someone else's tweet <laughs> i mean is that like <laughs> bad <laughs> that's <laughs> and theft, theirs man. wasn't yeah theirs wasn't ironic um and they were talking about like lyrics of the the mask mm. um is that what's, is it the mask or just mask i think it's uh 
Might be the mask. It would, it would make more sense if it was the mask. I, I honestly have no it's, idea. I don't remember now. Yeah. Every time I tell my Google to play it, she does not. So I, I don't <laughs> have it right. But uh, mine was ironic. Uh, like, it was half ironic, half not. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I don't care. I'm not thinking, bro. I'm just <laughs> like, okay, like, who cares? And the tweet, and all I said was, like, the lyrics mean so much to me. You know, it makes me think about the mask I wear. And, yeah. like, if you if you didn't know me, how are you going to come for me if I was, like, serious? I, I was like, and then I was like, I'm actually a fan or a fan, not a stan. You know, I, I would watch a couple manhunts here and there. I know what's going on. Yeah. Um, I I actually watched these early videos, like, all of them. Like, I, yeah, I used to love his find, videos. They were very entertaining yeah. at the start, I felt like. Yeah, like he found PewDiePie's seed or whatever. Like, Oh, yeah. I was there for that. Um, And then I, like, make, like, a voice message. Like, and I, I found out what a voice message was on Twitter. <laughs> I was like, oh, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then I just, like, pr- press it, and I'm, like, talking to my phone for, like, a minute and a half. And then the whole entire replies to it are, like, I can't tell if it's serious or not. Please use tone indicators. Please do slash serious. And I reply to it. I'm like, slash serious. You guys, I'm serious. Mm-hmm. And then I get like 10 replies on that. Like, please don't make fun of tone indicators. <laughs> and I was like, oh my God. <laughs> so I just deleted like all of it. And I was like, I don't, I mean, this is, yeah, it's a trip. <sighs> it's a wild place, man. It is. Uh... You, you're a tweeter though, aren't you? Yeah, I, I like to I like to tweet. Not as much anymore nowadays because I just I can't do it anymore, man. I can't. They they drive me nuts. I'm like way too mentally ill right now to even put up with like half of the stuff on that website. Like you tweet at like man, I was I was like I um a couple days ago I, I tweeted I was just like tweeting about like cuz Lil Nas X was on, on the BT awards and he like kissed a bunch of dudes on stage and then like a bunch of homophobes were mad. Um oh. And then I was, I, I like tweeted a couple things about it. And then somebody was like, oh, is this like a coming out tweet? And I was like, I, I don't really, I don't really label myself with sexuality wise. Like I, I've been with men and women. I had a great time. And then I just got like a shit ton of followers that day. And I'm like, what the fuck, man? <laughs> I don't want followers for this shit. Like, I don't want you to follow me mm-hmm. because I, I, I've kissed a dude. I want you to follow me because I'm kind of funny. Like, I feel like that's, that- what if there's. It was like dudes following you, man, looking for other dudes that, to kiss. That is true, actually. But then I, I looked at my following list, and it was a bunch of, like, Sapnap profile pictures and stuff. So, You ever seen that Sapnap, uh, the tweet by, like, somebody that was, like, a Sapnap stan, and they tweeted, like, uh, I'm, I'm worried that someday someone's going to shoot me when I talk about my... Oh, it's like, I'm worried that one day if I talk about my my hobby of watching Dream and other Minecraft streamers, someone's just going to shoot me. It's not impossible. <laughs> That's like, that's just like when a Christian is just like, someone's going to burn down my church and they live in like Austin, Texas. <laughs> Literally. It's, um, um, it's funny. I haven't seen that. I got to see that. Uh, yeah. I I think TikTok was a, is a good primer for people who like having attention on TikTok is a very good primer to Twitter for sure. Mm-hmm. But uh, it's definitely not the same. I never look. I just get in there. I just like shoot a tweet and I leave. I don't know. That's the best like, way I don't to know do what it. happens. I have no clue. I follow like 50 people. I get like one of them is like Kamala Harris and she's on that all the time. <laughs> so that's my timeline. It's like Kamala Harris, you, and then like Stone Power or something. I don't know. Man. Yeah. <laughs> like... That's so I just get in there and I just boop and then I leave. I I you know I this is this is kind of unrelated but it made me think about it. It, it made me think about the freak SMP, the Minecraft server that uh you started and that uh we were on together. Um it was a lot of fun, but I I it, it makes me like think about like uh, cuz TikTok audiences as well. Um TikTok commenters are in my eyes batshit crazy. <laughs> like yeah. it's crazy like people on tiktok will just comment things and then the way that the comment section works like the worst comments always just end up at the top yeah. like <laughs> it's just like the worst opinions always get the most likes um and i remember when we were on freak smp it felt like every day i logged on somebody new was canceled <laughs> it was like it was like the hunger games where it's like a new soldier has fallen um, oh on the smp yeah yeah, yeah I, I remember that uh and that and then, like, some of these TikTok viewers, they would come over into my Twitch chat, and they'd be like, you're still playing on this after what happened today? I'm like, motherfucker, I don't care. I'm not, like, 
Yeah. I'm playing Minecraft. Yes. I'm not here to like send some sort of fucking social message right now. Like I'm just trying to build my fucking parking garage, man. <laughs> yeah, that was insane though what you were building. I still don't know. <laughs> that was a parking garage? Uh it was supposed to be like a high rise apartment building, but then it ended up looking like a parking garage. So everybody just called it a parking garage. I'm not a very good builder. Okay. Yeah, it was like it was uh it was a statement. That's what it was. But um, I think it's beautiful the TikTok comment section. It's like Facebook mixed with like, t- with Twitter and like with a little bit of love and or, or or like confidence, like in the wrong place, and yeah. then it just all together. You know, I'm always I'm always opening the those comment sections. I screenshot. I'm like like I'm in a safari or something, and I got a whole <laughs> collection of just just absolute just beauties, man. Like, oh my god, like just. So that don't make that doesn't make sense, and like none of it is like ironic. Like on Twitter, you might see like a weird like reply or something. It's like, all right, he's doing a, a goof and a gaff, you mm-hmm. know. He's like in with the joke. There, like you'll see someone comment like, "My grandma has cancer," and then someone reply to that like ratio, and it's not like a joke. Like they're trying oh, yeah. to ratio them. Oh like, yeah. What is going on? But um, the, the cancel stuff is beautiful as well. Yeah. The ratio culture is is um, it's crazy. They don't give a fuck. They they literally don't give a single shit what they're trying to ratio. They just have one end goal, and that's to get more likes than that. Whatever the fuck that tweet might be talking about, it, it, it does not. They don't even read the tweet, man. <laughs> they they don't even, they have no idea what the fuck they're replying under. They're just like they see a tweet, they just reply ratio, and they move on. Like they don't even. It's can, can you imagine? There's kids that are gonna hear about ratios on like Twitter, and then or TikTok, and then they're gonna like reach like sixth grade and then we'll learn what a ratio is like in math like oh my god like what (laughs) that is true like that's three over two is a a ratio that is crazy Um, the new the new very the new way of learning you do you have any um do you get thirst tiktoks people make any people thirst over you uh yeah i don't know if you were here for the promiscuous thing but i was I know this is hard to believe, but it was like me, like me versus Vinny Hacker. Like that was that was who was in the ring. I swear <laughs> to God, man, I still <laughs> it's still surreal. And the entire time, I didn't make a single other thirst trap, and I would just like be on like my second TikTok. Like, what is going on? Like, what? I'm not kidding. There were videos with like seven hundred thousand likes, eight hundred thousand likes, just that same damn promiscuous clip, and I was like. Oh my god, I don't want this. <laughs> like, like I'm a TikTok boy now and I and I just tried everything in my power to like push away from that because every time I like okay, this is uh it's just real, believe it or not, but I I didn't get like a compliment on my looks until I was like 19, like TikTok. Like it yeah. didn't make sense like genuinely. And it wasn't out of like me being insecure uh and like this filling some void I've been trying to fill. Like I was like Okay, if there's any like truth behind this, why have I n- never gotten a whiff like mm. of this in my 19 years? So, yeah, I was just like, it was actually really weird. Like, I was tripping out. I was like, okay, so am I now like the attractive guy who tries to be funny and it's really hard to watch, or am I like, what am I like? Mm. What is going on? So I just end up posting less. Like I posted way less, and I was just like, yeah, man, I don't. This is nuts. Yeah, Still, I, it's some... I, 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 f- I feel you on that whole like um, before I started doing this job, I didn't I didn't really get a lot of compliments on my appearance either. Uh, I, don't, I like I it, it was one of those things where it's just like, I don't know. I don't think people thought I was necessarily ugly, but I just like I, I was not the kind of guy where it's like people would be like, oh, that guy's sexy as hell. Like I would just kind of like I was I was more so the class clown. If anything, I was the funny guy. So then to kind of. uh you know, start doing this, and then all of a sudden, with TikTok, I've I've definitely started getting more of them too. Where it's just, man, they always use like the shittiest pictures too. Like I'm looking, like I'm like fucking greased up, like I haven't showered in like three weeks, and they're like, oh god, he's like he's doing things to me right now. I'm like, man, if you're gonna do this shit, at least choose a good picture. Like fuck, like you're advertising me. Like this this is probably gonna hit like four you pages, and you're advertising me to all these new people, and you're making me look like I'm like some sort of fucking ho- hobo, dude. Like I, I. <laughs> it's 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 crazy it is um i i can never wrap my head around and then reading through the comments and they're always like i and they're all like going crazy and it's like 
I don't, I've never publicly talked about someone like this. <laughs> like I, I've never commented on anyone's, anyone's like thing being like, um, I gotta, like, I gotta say how sexy they are. It's crazy. So it's gotta mean something, you know, something's happening. Something's definitely happening. Um, uh, it's just, I don't know, man, I'm old, you know, I don't, I can't wrap my head around it. Yeah, I Google it, it says you're 32, but I don't believe it. I'm not, I'm not 32. What happened was, uh. Like 22? Yeah. 21? I, uh, 22 yeah I, I i a few years ago i, I commented uh i i tweeted out before this was even before i was a youtuber I tweeted out as a joke on one of my birthdays i was like oh man i'm turning 29 today and then uh when i when i when famous birthdays made a, a profile for me i was just like they they just, they just looked up like my my tweets on my birthdays i guess to see how old i was and they saw that i tweeted that i was 29 that year so they were like okay <laughs> he's now 31 and then they just rolled with it and, and I was gonna let them. I was gonna let Famous Birthdays leave it as that because I thought it was funny, um, until I started getting threats in my DMs, being like, "You're a, you're a fucking pedophile." I hanging out with like seventeen year olds. Like, what the fuck are you doing? All your friends are seventeen oh. and you're like thirty one. And I was like, I was like, oof, I don't want to. I don't. Oh, I don't. Really, yeah, I don't really want to deal with that. I was like, what the fuck? Like, if they literally did like two seconds of, like, isn't that the crazy thing? Is like, if they literally did like two more seconds of research, they would find out that that's not true. But instead of doing that research, they immediately resorted to resorted to fucking DMing me this shit. These like fucking horrible threats, you know? That's kind of gold. Like, uh, that just ruins like the fun. Like, it we does. Were having, you were having something good and it's just like, uh, yeah. I, well, I have famous birthdays. I just sent a picture of my brother and it was just pictures of my brother for like <laughs> a couple of years. So, <laughs> not a couple of years. No, like uh, a while. But yeah, no, people can really, uh, yeah, I hate it when someone DMs me, like the audacity to tell me what to do. Like, what's that guy's, uh, Ansel Al Gore? I had, oh, is, yeah. that, is that his name? Yeah, the actor? Name, yeah. I had no clue. I had no clue what was going on with him. I still don't know what's going on. I'm going to be honest. Mm -hmm. And I don't even know why I was following him. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's going on. And then I just opened my DMs once. And it's this paragraph. They like, give me every name of the book. And like I support this, and I'm like, wait, wait, wait. And I think I replied to it. I think I had too much fun with that. So when that gets out, I'm gonna be in trouble. Um, <laughs> I'm like, I replied like, oh, I will do it right away. Thank you so much for letting me know. And then they like replied to me like, that's the thing about follow policing. That, that's what they do. They they find they go through your follows, and then they they say like, uh, uh oh like why do you follow this person why do you follow that person why do you do this what like oh, that you shouldn't like here's the thing right and this is to anybody that's listening if you're going through people's follows and being like okay this because they follow this like you need to realize this right when it comes to like celebrities and stuff or like when it comes to stuff like that you need to realize that there is a very high chance that like you know this person maybe doesn't think about like twitter 24 7 so it's like they they're not like they're not like oh this person did something uh questionable i must immediately now go and unfollow them like that's not really my first thought my first thought is oh my god like oh my god that's awful uh my first thought isn't like oh my god let me go uh, immediately go to twitter if that's where your mind goes to then i feel like you, you your kind of reactions kind of performative it's weird like yeah follows don't mean anything follows do not mean an endorsement i do i used to get this shit where it was like when trump was president I followed Trump on Twitter because I, I was like, I was about to say that. First yeah. of all, he he had fucking I, hilarious tweets. I don't know what the hell he was talking about half the time. It's like anybody that knows me knows that I don't I don't support Trump, but I would get these like stupid fucking stands in my DMs, being like, "Oh my god, you you follow Trump? That's kind of sus. Like you want to like do you you should you should unfollow or like, dude, one of the I remember one of the DMs. It was like a weird like threat. It was like a. Uh, you have a week to unfollow, and I was like, "What are you gonna do after the week? Fucking tweet about it? Like, who gives a fuck? Like, he's the fucking president of the United States, bro. He's not an influencer. He's not like Bryce Hall, where it's like, oh, everybody, let's unfollow him. Like, let's cancel him. Like, you can't, like, you can't cancel him. Believe it or not. So, um, yeah, I definitely followed him on Twitter. Yeah, that's so funny. It's just the audacity. It's like, yeah, I used to follow him on Instagram too. I mean, he would be posted up with like. Kim Jong Un, I saw that once, and I was like, <laughs> I'm not gonna miss this. I'll take it a I'll take it a step further. I was on his email list <laughs> because it was it was the funniest emails. I, I actually it was so good. It was beyond like satire. Couldn't make it that good. It was like it'd be like, hey, 
This is Eric Trump. Mm. They were about to get us. The Democrats <laughs> are at the front line. And I would just be like, Jesus Christ. It would be like the weirdest like scare tactics ever. And I'll take it even a step further. The reason why I was on his email list <laughs> is because I went to a Trump rally. <laughs> and they put me on the email list. <laughs> what? Yeah, I went to one with my friend. Um, and we just we were little trolls the whole time. It was one of the funniest. Because... A lot of times you don't realize like how serious, like how big this is. I went mm-hmm. there; it was like fifty thousand people in mega Whoa. caps. It was it was unbelievable, and it was just me and my friend. And this doesn't mean anything, but he's he's black, and he, he's like we were just walking there. He's like a Middle Eastern dude. We were the only like not white people, mm. and they would like come up to me and my friend, like pat us on the shoulder, and like thank you, brother, for being <laughs> here. <laughs> and we were just like what is going on and we got to like the front of it i saw like i was like five feet away from trump i took like a selfie too it was like that was fun um that is crazy and then, I, and then i realized i had pictures out of me like posted up um in front of like trump posters and stuff and i was like ah if this gets out and there's no context oh it's yeah gonna be really hard to explain so i got on this kind of mission of like telling the story out of the blue in like different circumstances just to get it you know circulating right so, so that, that's what i'm doing right now yeah when when yeah. someone like uh because that's how they get yeah they they get little pictures of you where it like looks like you're doing something that you're not or like or or, or they'll like th- this is my favorite thing that they do little you know you're doing a you're doing a fucking three hour twitch stream and you mention something offhand and you know you go into like you go into you tell a whole story there's a whole build up there's a whole you know you know the story has its different parts and then they clip one part of that story and then they're like um what the hell is this? Like, what's going on here? And it's like, motherfucker, you know the context. You clipped it. You were in the stream. So what are you doing? Like, you know it. Um, it's some Hassan, Hassan Piker stuff. <laughs> little, little 9-11 thing. You, uh, you have, um, you have beef with the sun, don't you? I don't you? know. Uh, yeah, beef, infatuation. I mean, it's all the same. I mean, we're on the same boat. But yeah, like that. I think that was so funny. The 9-11 thing. I, I mean, see, someone could clip that right there. Oh, yeah. What I just said. I think that was so funny, the 9-11 thing. I mean. I mean, I'll take it even further. I'll say he right. wasn't wrong. I don't think he was wrong. Whoa. I think, all right. I'm not. <laughs> I don't like. <laughs> I'm not with it. <laughs> I, think if, I think anybody, uh, if anybody listened to his full point, they would realize that he had a good point. It was just the one, like, uh, little. Uh, it's, uh, he got banned from Twitch, but that's not even what he got banned for. He said something crazier. Which I found out recently, he got banned because what? he said, "You know, you know Dan Crenshaw. He's like the Republican yeah. with the eye patch." He started. <laughs> and this this is pretty fucking crazy that he said this. This is like a minute after he said the nine eleven thing. Uh, he said, um, "He said how something about fucking Dan Crenshaw's eye hole." And the, <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's what got him banned. It wasn't even the nine eleven thing. Um, so. Oh my God, that's awful! <laughs> oh. oh God! Yeah, I don't even know as a whole. I thought it was I don't know maybe just like no pupil there or something. But now there's like a like a hole. I don't. I don't. I, I'm not fully. Uh, I'm not fully caught up on the on the on the details of his eye. But uh, yeah, that's what. That's uh, awful. Even even the 9/11 thing. Like it's the first time I saw it, I was like. Okay, it's pretty obvious that what he means. Yeah. I mean, like even just a clip, but I just it's I just love it when people like that tells so much about a person when they like run with something like that. Mm. It's oh, like yeah. you're really like single dimensional. Like you don't you you just you're just here, man. You're oh, the yeah. NPC. You know. I I I think it's in in uh, in circumstances like that, especially it what it, what it kind of is is uh these people they're um whenever they whenever they pull up things like this as a reach i always think about like what's going through their head because there's two options either they are just full-blown delusional to think that arguments like this are actually valid or while they're making these arguments they're having they have this voice in the back of their head that's like yeah i do should i is this true like is this is this right am i actually am i in the right here and then they're kind of like they're kind of on the low key realizing that they're not but that's not stopping them, which says a lot, because you know they have a, they have a they have a mission, and it's to uh, That's destroy Hassan Piker. 
Yeah, I'm on that one too, but I don't go. <laughs> I don't play dirty. Um, yeah, man, you gotten canceled before, like properly? Uh, not really. There's been um, there's been a couple times where uh, some people have gone mad at me, but I I haven't really had a uh, I haven't had a full thread made about me. I haven't had a um, sometimes people oh. like there's like weird shit where like people on TikTok will randomly say like, oh, I heard he I heard he's like homophobic. Like that was a thing I saw one time. I heard he's homophobic, which. Believe it or not, it's not true. Or it was another thing where it's like, oh, I, I heard he, like, they use, they love to use the word problematic. Like, I heard he's problematic. And it's like, why? Why'd you, Ooh, like, what do you, what do you mean by that? Like, what's the, what's the T here? What's the evidence? And then they'll be like, oh, I don't know. I just heard it. But then they don't even know why they don't like me. They just, they like go and spread it still, which is like, bro, you got to know what you're talking about if you go, if you're going to go to public and like really push that shit, you know? It's like a game of telephone on TikTok, especially. They're just like, oh yeah, uh, what? Like it, it's so, yeah. Because like you said, I, I like to do that too. The intention thing, like, yo, are you really trying to take me down, or like, do you genuine? Are you genuinely like a civil rights activist, and you think, mm -hmm. you know, this needs to be addressed? Like, what is going on? Um, I got the homophobe thing a couple of times. That's always fun. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then like even like when it's so not true. The hardest thing for me, especially when I address it, quote unquote, is to like do it seriously because it's like, I can't believe you guys think I like hate gay people. Like, do you see what's going on? This is like, like to me, it's like, oh my God, I can't believe I'm even doing this. This is like so funny to me. Yeah. But I got to be serious for a second. All right. Let me, let me get this. And then it's so hard to even get like a sentence out. Like, guys. Especially when it's not a real thing, like some weird out of context. Like I had a weird, they went to like my friend's spam Instagram, like his Finsta and found like me making like, I remember it was like, <laughs> it was like me finding out little Nas X is gay. And then it's like, I'm like, I have a fire extinguisher on my crotch and I just spray it, you know, a little <laughs> insinuating a little, whoa, I got him, you know, I'm, yeah. I'm busting the little Nas. And it's like, okay, man, I'm like 15, bro. <laughs> like, yeah. maybe I'm like perpetuating like the boys or something, but you're not going to call me homophobic. Um, I'm not, I don't even want to entertain it, man. And like, I don't know if you know this. Uh -huh. Sorry, but I'm, uh, I'm on a roll here. No, but, yeah, um, go, go. I'll, go ahead. Speak your mind. Just, just re rehash it all. Um, this one actually pissed me off like so much. Uh -huh. Um, it was at the height of like my whole thing, everything, per freak show, promiscuous, you know, mm -hmm. everything. And then some random Twitter account just tweets, I heard that uh, Hamza used to sexually assault people at his high school. Jesus. And then they delete, and then they just delete the account. So at first I saw that and I was like, there's absolutely no way anyone's going to, there's not a screenshot, there's no, like, there's nothing. There's not even a name to the account. Mm -hmm. And then I'm like, all right, I'm good. And then I go to tweet, like, my merch is coming out, and I just get, like, 150 replies. They're like, you're not going to talk about it? And I was like, oh, my God, you guys think I would do this? And then I realized, like, I'm not allowed to say that because, like, what is that, like, gaslighting or something? Yeah. Like, if I, say, if, I, <laughs> if I get on there and I'm just like, you guys think I would do this? <laughs> I was like, all right, that doesn't sound right. So I'm just like, yeah, I take this very seriously. I would never do this. And I'm, I still couldn't believe it because I'm, I'm like, I get no action, man. So I'm just like, you, like, I don't know. Yeah. Stuff like that. I really got thrown into the game, but. Yeah, that's, uh, that's yeah. fucking awful, damn, man. I'm sorry. That is, that's like a big, like that, that's screwed up that somebody would even do, do something like that. Like, that's just a. And I would still get like quote tweets that were like, what happened to believe the victim? And I was like, there's no way you just said that. Yeah. Like, it, there who can you point at someone oh, like yeah. and then i was like okay i can't like say stuff because then i sound like some weird gaslighting like so it was just i don't know i used to always hate those guys too that are just like oh yeah women like fake rape accusations and like bs like that and all of a sudden i was like <laughs> i was like looking at them for what to do i was like yo because they always like over uh it's like 2% of like, or actually no, it's 6%. I recently, uh -huh. something, which is the average of all fa false accusations for all crimes. Mm -hmm. um, so it really doesn't mean anything. But um, I was like, oh my God, like, what if this goes through? But yeah, anyway, past is in the past. Go ahead. Sorry. That's, um, oh yeah, that's, that's, 
then the you know what the worst part about that is is you could you know when 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 stuff like that happens or when you get like accused of stuff like that or if somebody like uh, on twitter just randomly will call you like uh, homophobic or racist or whatever and even if they have no basis for it some people will just see it and then they'll run with it and then you can come forward and be like well this i you know i don't really think this this was a very accurate portrayal of anything or like this isn't even this is a flat out lie those people that still saw the original they won't there's a chance they won't even see your fucking response to it and nor will they care to so then after after you've already gone through it you've already kind of cleared everything up there they will still be around and they'll see you and they're like aren't you the guy that uh, did the did, 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 did? and then it's like bro and now it's like it's exposing it to even more people that were not there to begin with and then it's like you got to fucking talk about it all over again it's so yeah you put it perfectly and it's like rings of like people who are close to you like who would meet with you again and it's like a little like a little explosion bop and then like you gotta like reach that audience again and it's like if you're famous enough you can just like not acknowledge it again mm -hmm. but if you know god forbid you get a little less relevant and that was your biggest pop like oh yeah that's like yeah my friend claire claire drake she's been trying to give context to like the same five clips for over seven months now and it's like Dude, and like she just she just posted her first TikTok after literally maybe six months, and she you know we explained it on the podcast. She went live like four times and like threads, and and it's still like the fifth comment is like, you guys forgive her for what she did, but it's looking good now because those people are like in ratioed. Like, mm. hey, look into it, and that's like you know a little hope. Yeah, that's that's where the ratio the ratio does come through there. Um, yeah, even her situation was really weird especially yeah. when you know the person and it's just like you want to like tell people like i can't believe you guys think this but it's like it's really it ruins the fun that's the best way to put it man yeah it's it's uh yeah i, I i've been uh next to people that have been like getting a lot of shit publicly uh and it's uh you know th there's a lot of times where people are just like so unnecessary like i think you know I think there's it's good to sometimes have certain conversations you know if somebody has like some sort of thing in their past it's it's i think it's good to like kind of have a conversation it's like hey what's what happened here and that person can be like you know this is this is this is what's up and then there's like a dialogue had there but i feel like some people um they're so like unnecessarily rude where it's like it just sucks to see your friends be treated that way where it's like uh you know it's like i i have i i have friends that i i know they're they're great people and um you know, I, I would kind of like to think that if a lot of these, a lot of these, you know, um, I look at a lot of the things that like, uh, some of them have been like called during like their, uh, sprees of cancellations. And I'm like, if, if it, I mean, shit, if it was really this bad, like, I don't think I would, I like, not to say that I'm like the moral compass here. Right. But I would like to think like, I wouldn't like I would, like I know them. Like I, there's like I wouldn't personally like be friends with them if it was really like this bad. It's more so just people like literally going all in. Like the, the all these words, like all these like um, like you'll do one thing wrong and then these people will just immediately be like, you're just full on homophobic. Like you're just like you straight up hate gay people. And I I think it kind of makes the word lose its meaning because at that point it's like, man, what the fuck does it even mean anymore? I think, it, you know, there's kind of like a, it's a better way to put it is like, okay, you're being insensitive here. So it's like, th at that point, yeah, yeah. it's like, there's a difference between somebody that is intentionally kind of harming and hating a group of people and someone who is um, just like ignorant, you know, which is, you know, it's it's good to educate ignorance, but it's it's it doesn't make sense to like go in on that person and be like, well, you clearly hate gays. You 100% hate them. Because at that point, it just feels like, I don't know, man, like you're just taking your taking your problems out on this person. Um, and no, yeah, nobody wants to be told like what they are like, mm, like, yeah. you're going to tell someone. Like, I think the word ableist is a pretty good example of uh, absolutely run into the ground. I mean, mm. like, what does that even mean, man? Like, if I don't put slash neg before, like, slam dunking on someone i got i'm an a like yeah what happened there bro like actually like what happened to that word um, yeah that it's 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 weird man that's been a thing recently yeah, on twitter the whole uh 
neg thing. I, I've seen it trend a couple I, of times recently. I think it's hilarious. I mean, like to like if it was me, I would be crying. But uh, like, I can't believe you guys were just like, you know what? I don't think they're seeing all this negativity. I mean, this is not what it comes from. Like, uh, like they're doing it to because people are hyper fixated. Is that what it is? Yeah, yeah, so they, yeah. They do. Yeah, they do. I also think that word is thrown around too much. Um, like, if you like something, it's mm-hmm. like when someone's like, I have OCD, like, I need it to be straight. Like, you can't just be like, I'm hyper fixated on Friends because I watch Friends. Like, yeah. you know, you can like something. You can like a streamer. You can like this. But I got a preface. I don't know what I'm talking about. I've, I have, I got like, yeah, I, I have no clue what I'm talking about. I'm a, I'm a, what do they call it? Someone who's able? I'm a able man. <clears throat> Yeah, I think so. I, 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 I'm, I, 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 dude, I, I gotta. I'm gonna be honest. Like, I, I when it comes to Twitter, I, it, it's hard to keep up with like all of the terms. Or, like, everybody has like all like. That, I think that's the craziest part to me about Twitter. Is everybody wants to be associated with all these terms. Everybody wants to like have their identity attached to all these labels and stuff. Um, I'm very much just kind of like about like living my life, doing my thing. Um, I don't like labeling myself when it comes to anything really like i even any sort of mental illnesses like i got them doesn't mean i need to fucking <laughs> you know i but that's just me you know if anybody wants to do it differently then that's up to them but like yeah the the hyper fixation stuff is um i don't know man like i i obviously i'm not gonna sit here and like fucking say that they're not real obviously hyper fixations uh it's a it's a you know it's a, it's a real thing but like at the same time Sometimes looking at Twitter, I can't help but feel like there are some people that just use it as like a get out of jail free card where it's like, hey, uh, <laughs> I I want to like be I just I want to like really be selfish right now and be kind of like self-centered. So I'm going to like you and they this happens with like I feel like a lot of things in dialogue where it's like I don't want to con- like I don't want to have an actual dialogue or I don't have a conversation. I don't want to have anything. I just want to like I'm going to I'm going to throw this term at you and that means the conversation's over and then that's that's when we move on. I mean, the whole neg thing uh i saw carl jacobs neg or like neg carl jacobs uh trend recently and the, apparently the reason it was was because one of the carl jacobs <laughs> one of the carl jacobs update accounts i don't know what happened on it but f- for some reason it tweeted out like fuck carl jacobs <laughs> 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 and then they like everybody was like fucking can like being mad at them. It was like you, if you're gonna tweet something out like you need to put carl jacobs neg because so many people have like notifications turned on for your account Jesus. and you might they, it might make them like um uh it might make them like really like um uh, anxious and stuff like, and it's like man i'm sorry but like well, like uh, you that's that like at, at a certain point the way that i listen i the way i grew up um this is m- what my therapist kind of taught me and what what a lot of you know you can't expect everybody to fucking make your bed for you you know you at a certain point you kind of have to suck it up and realize you know the world is a rough place, and kind of the sooner you come to realize this, the sooner you, the better, you, yeah, the better like, for you because you kind of need to realize that not everybody can cater to your uh, needs, and if something makes you anxious, kind of honestly, I'm gonna be honest with you. Here is my um, advice for anybody that has anxiety because I'm somebody that has struggled with anxiety for literally almost my entire life. I, I I've had it pretty severe at points where I, I didn't even go to school for months at a time because of how bad it was. So I feel like I, I really have experience on this. What I've learned is um, what makes anxiety worse is running away from things that make you anxious. Uh, and that doesn't mean, you know, you got to run headfirst onto it. But if you're, you know, that's that's kind of the thing is like, oh, if you're if you become so sensitive to the point where it's like my favorite content creator, I can't take people criticizing my favorite content creator. So I got to like uh, I got to fucking filter out the, the negativity you're you're just eventually you're going to see it there's no running from it and you're just making your life worse for when you do see it because you're going to be so unused to seeing it you know so it's like you're just making it harder for yourself uh and i think it's a to- and also <laughs> by these people by like trying to cancel this updates account by being like uh you didn't tag carl <laughs> jacobs and egg they made it trend they made they made a trend so now people are going to see it which they otherwise would not have seen it, which means oh, it was all completely counterproductive. I, I clicked on that, and then it was like positivity. Like, what is, what is going on? Yeah. Like, they're using the neg to put positivity. Mm-hmm. So what if I only want to see negativity, and I click on Carl Jacobs' neg, and I see someone hyping him up? Um, yeah. I screenshotted this. 
Um, I don't want to show the ad. Uh, God damn it. I can't show this, can I? It's just, I couldn't believe it. I'll just read it to you. Mm -hmm. It was a little a tweet on the neg thing. Here we go. I love Carl Jacobs, by the way. Just thought I'd say that. Innocent tweet. No, no problem. And then this uh, account, I think it's an update account or something, replies to that tweet five times. Mm -hmm. uh, PQRT already. My bio says no P P PQRTs, so please stop. And then replies, show me or delete it. Oh, my God. <laughs> Dude, s stop the PQRT slash serious. And another reply, PQRTs are ableist. And I... I mean, am I wrong in saying what the hell is going on? Yeah. Like, you can't tell someone not to, to quote, re like, you, you can't, what is going on? I, the reality here is, and this is a, you know, I, listen, like, I, <laughs> I get it, man. All right. The outside world, it can be a scary place, but, uh. When you go, when you go outside, when you eventually have to go outside, I'm sorry, you can't live on Twitter, but when you, when you go outside, these people, they're like, what, 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 what everything that makes you uncomfortable, you're just going to start fucking shouting at people being like, oh, this is, uh, this is fucking ableist. This is that like the real world does not work this way. I'm sorry. It just does not. I, it's not under my control. I'm just saying, I'm just telling you how it is. It does not work this way. And by co constantly wrapping yourself in like thicker and thicker blankets, you're just kind of, um, you know, you're making it worse for yourself down the line where, um, you know, like your immunity is getting worse. Exactly. You know? You're going to you're going to see the flu and you just die right there. Exactly. You know? Like, here's a OK. A lot of these things can be like a lot of these things where you're kind of expecting people to, uh, uh, you know, cater to you. You can yourself take steps so that. You know, if if you're really that affected by private quote retweets, then put your account on private. It's as simple as that. Then people cannot retweet you. They can't private quote retweet you. And maybe if you're in that state of mind where private quote retweets affect you that bad, which, by the way, man, holy shit. Imagine if they were in our shoes, man. We tweet out a little tweet, fucking 60 private quote <laughs> retweets. Um, but, like, it's, it's like at that point, you know, it, I think it would be a better it would genuinely be a better option for you to just be a private Twitter account. I mean, if it makes you that nervous, you know, um, it's like, you know, I, I thought it was kind of cool. I thought it was like, it's kind of like getting posted in someone's like Finsta or true. something like, Oh, like, I'm at, like, Oh you're, yeah. You're like, like a okay. little popular. Like, you know, people are like, uh, you know, people are, people uh, are talking yeah. about you without you being there, which is always like, um, you know, it's like, Oh damn. Like I'm really, really popping off. I really like them. Um, yeah, but like you said, uh, when people realize that not everyone will like cater to them, I think you should take it a step further. You need to realize that nobody cares about you. That is true. Like, but that the, like actually, no one cares about you or is gonna take care of you. Like, <laughs> I'm not trying to make this. This I don't know how this turned to like us friggin' bullying people who are uh, <laughs> like, I yeah. This I don't know how this got here, but my point is is um. Yeah, nobody cares about you. I kind of got this realization earlier. Like, it's kind of a, I don't know if this, is, this should be in the book or something. I think it is. It's like, whenever your parents can't answer your questions anymore, like, that's, that's a pretty, I don't know. For me, that was like pretty nuts for me. It happened to me like when I was like 17, and I was just like, yo, how do I, uh, like, do this? Mm -hmm. Or like, hey, and they're just like, I have no clue. I was like, oh, what? Mm. Um, and then, like, that, for me personally, that kind of, like, sparked something in me. I was like, oh, my God. Okay. Not even, like, my parents were like that. I wasn't, like, they weren't all, always there for me. I mean, not, like, some, like, <laughs> like leaving me. Or just yeah. stuff. Uh, I'm just saying, like, I wasn't some, uh, what do they call it? Like, the parents who were, like, all over them or something. Uh, uh, I know what you mean. I don't know the word, though. A, I forgot the word. I know the word. Like an eagle about. parent or something? Yeah. I don't know if it's that, but, but yeah. <laughs> something like that. Um, Yeah. To be honest, I don't know what the conclusion of that point was, but no. we're making progress. <laughs> yeah. We're, uh, you know, I just, I, I hope, you know, the thing about, like, at the end of the day, you know, I know that a lot of these people will grow up and they'll be like, oh my God, I was, I was cringe. Like, I was like, oh my God, what the <laughs> hell was I doing? You know, some of these people, I'm sure that some people will, you hope, like, you know, yeah, I hope. And, you know, it's definitely like some of them are so young. And when you're at that young age, you, you kind of, 
you 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 whatever passion you pick up it's immediately like your entire life which means which is why a lot of these people act the way they do um and uh I, there was there's this tweet that i saw like a while ago that's actually like um uh re- it's like a really uh it's, it's really funny it's something like uh Twitter is like a human rights violation because it, without my choice, exposes me to the opinions of fourteen-year-olds every day, and it's like that's <laughs> actually that's actually good. That's true. Um, where it's like you know, they're just they're growing up and they're they're finding all these new things to care about, and they don't they have no idea how things actually work, so they just kind of go all in immediately, and that kind of causes them to act the way they do. Um, but uh, yeah, I feel like. Uh, We've had a we've had a good conversation today. Do you have anything uh, to uh, wrap it up with? I think we have. I think we made some serious progress. Yeah, serious um, progress yeah. in society. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. I had a blast. Thank you so much for having me on. I, um, you're a real one, man. You I too, also have man. a podcast as well. Yeah, I was really trying not to say that. I, I felt weird. No, um, no, but promo I do have away. as well. <laughs> Out of character. It's not. Yeah, if you if you like this stuff. I feel like we're we're on the same wavelength yeah. relatively. So so if you like this stuff, I got out of character going. Um that's what it's called, out of character. So yeah, you can look that up. But honestly, thank you so much. I am honored to be here. And thank you for having me. Seriously. Thank you for joining us. Uh and thank you to the listeners for listening. Check out Hamza's podcast, check out Hamza's uh socials, TikToks, Twitters. And I will catch you guys next week on the next episode of Cool Dog. Goodbye, everybody.